Yours are, uh, Gloria, you and me and a few hundred other Washington uh, journalists <laughs> yeah. and other insiders. We got to see the uh, film last night at the museum. Right. Uh, it's getting mixed reviews. I'm anxious to get your thoughts. Well, I thought it was terrific. I thought uh, Julianne Moore, Ed Harris, uh, Woody Harrelson were all so lifelike that you could actually think you were watching John McCain or you she were watching Sarah She was amazing as Sarah, Sarah Palin, Palin, Julianne Moore. As a political journalist, so a couple of things. One is that it makes you understand as we report events in real time, no matter how good we are, we don't really know what's going on behind the scenes in the hotel suites where the candidates are prepping. I mean, we get, we get a version of it, but very often you have to wait until the history is passed in order to go back and find out exactly what was going on. So we don't know very this, little. This film we, was based on Mark Halperin right, and John Hallman's right. very a excellent book. Right, which book. came out yeah. after the campaign. You know, I mean, we knew of the problems in the campaign. We knew that there was a lot of grousing about Sarah Palin. We knew that they felt that she had, quote, gone rogue on them. Um, but I think when we see the details of the depths of her despair and their despair over her, uh, it's, something, it's something quite astonishing. And secondly, I think there's a sort of a cynical part to politics that's kind of depressing to me, which is that if they thought she was so terrible and so unqualified, why didn't they say You're something? You're talking about uh, Steve Schmidt, the campaign yeah, strategist, and these are, and Nicole these are Wallace. Terrific, and, and smart. And almost and I, all of these scenes are seen from their perspective. Sarah right. Palin didn't co co cooperate right. with the uh, creation of this I, and film. And I'm, I'm sure it's something you, they struggled with. I'm sure it's something they really struggled with. And the vetting process, of course, was so incomplete. They only had five days to what'd vet her. What'd you think? Okay, yeah. what'd you well, think? Well, let me play this other clip and okay. I'll tell you right okay. after this. Here's another clip from the film. Mr. Chairman. Delegates and fellow citizens, I will be honored to accept your nomination for Vice President of the United States. Thank you. Our nominee is a man who wore the uniform of his country for 22 years and refused to break faith with those troops in Iraq, who now have brought victory within sight. Good, good. She's really good. And she did deliver a very excellent uh, acceptance speech mm -hmm. at the Republican convention four years ago, as a lot of us remember. I thought it was a very powerful film. You know, I read the book, which was an excellent right. book. Usually, okay. and I wrote about this on our Situation Room blog post today, usually when you read a, a very good book and then you see a film that's adopted from the book, mm -hmm. you're disappointed. I was not disappointed in this film.